Hello everyone, since the next movie review I'm going to do is Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, I figured now would be a good time to take a look at the Godzilla suit used in the film. So today, we're going to get to know the Gido Goji suit. The Godzilla suit used in the film Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah was known as the Gido Goji suit. The name comes from taking the kaiju's name King Ghidorah and putting together with the Japanese word for Godzilla, Goji. The Gido Goji suit was used again in Godzilla vs. Mothra as a stun suit during the underwater scenes, the eruption scene, and the landmark terror scene during Godzilla's fight with Mothra and Batra in Yokohama. After Godzilla vs. Biollante, Toho got to work on a sequel that released on December 14, 1991, titled Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. For this film, the Bio Goji suit was modified into the Gido Goji suit, therefore many similarities can be seen between the suits. The Gido Goji suit was given a more massive and muscular body. The suit featured a larger chest area. The face was also updated, looking more vicious and menacing. The Land and Sea 1989 Godzilla suits were repaired in using Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. The Land suit was fitted with a new head and was used during the climactic battle with Mecha King Ghidorah and Shinjuku. The new head was a bit wider and flatter than the previous head. The costume 1991 Godzilla A was cut in half. The upper half was used in scenes where Godzilla emerges in the Bering Sea and when Godzilla walks up the hill in Hokkaido. It was also employed in tight shots during Godzilla's first battle with King Ghidorah. The lower half of the suit was later used during 1993's Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla when Godzilla tramples Rodan at Atawana Island. The C-1989 Godzilla suit was fitted with round shoulders, an especially pronounced chest, and a new head that featured a high crest and a fierce face. This costume, 1991 Godzilla B, was used in a majority of the filming for Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. The suit helps convey the powerful image of Godzilla. Lastly, the 1991 Godzilla B suit was actually stolen from Toho before shooting the sequel to Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, Godzilla vs. Mothra. Luckily, it was discovered on the shore of Lake Akatuma after a week, and it was returned to Toho. The suit was repaired in time to be used in Godzilla vs. Mothra. The suit can be seen in the following scenes, the underwater battle with Batra, when Godzilla emerges from Mount Fuji, and finally when Batra topples the landmark tower onto Godzilla. In that particular instance, the suit was empty and rigged into position with overhead wires. At the beginning of Godzilla vs. Mothra's production schedule, an unknown party stole the Gido Goji suit from Toho Studios before it could be used in several scenes too strenuous for the new Bato Goji suit. Eventually, the suit was discovered on the shore of Lake Okatuma by an old woman. Members of the special effects team were reportedly disappointed at the suit's return due to the amount of time required to repair the damage the suit had sustained. This suit can also be seen throughout the film Godzilla vs. Mothra. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one, G-Fans.